Okay, it's a four card, you pick, ask your question. You can do four questions if you want to. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, I know you're watching, so please do subscribe. And thank you very much for tuning in. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. This is for you, okay? So take some time. <clears throat> Breathe in, breathe out, uh, maybe stop the tape and go get yourself something to drink. Really relax, but put your questions right to the front of your mind. And then that way, when they come this way, hopefully the cards will receive that and we'll get some good, good quality uh, feedback for you. All right, so let's do it now. So this is one of my all-time favorite uh, decks. So this is the Smith Waite uh, Tarot Deck, the Centennial Edition. And um, there's two boxes here, and I'll explain what happened. Is uh, when I was ordering uh, uh, this uh, deck, um, I think I, I think it was Amazon. I'm not 100% sure, but um, it wasn't clear that that one of the things I was ordering was just a deck of cards, and the other thing I was ordering was a commemorative set. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about them separately. So the cards themselves are terrific. So these are, as you may have heard me say, if you've watched some of my videos and watched me use these cards, uh, these cards are the um, supposed to be the uh, most true to the original artwork of Pamela Coleman Smith. This is her initial, Pamela Coleman Smith. Uh, th these are the closest to her original artwork or interpretation that she and um, and uh, uh, Wait uh, came to agreements on for the way that they would be depicted. Before I turn these over, I'm going to tell you. So one of the things I love about cards is when you, there's something special you can use the cards for, a special way you can identify with the cards that's only secret to you. Maybe I shouldn't like that, but I do like that. For instance, uh, these cards, you can tell from the back of these cards whether they are upright or whether they are inverted before you flip them over. And here's how. In this uh, little um, flourish here, uh, it's almost a rose and a rose. It reminds me a little bit of the Tudor rose, but it's, it's not quite that. But uh, if you are looking at this card, the back of this card, and you see this little leaf is, is sort of pointing in front of this signature, then you know that this card, when you flip it over, is going to be upright. However, if you see that the leaf is pointing behind the signature, you know that this card is going to be inverted. So see, a quick glance, it's not very obvious to you. But once you look at it for a minute and you know that secret, now you know what's going to happen when you turn this card over. So let's use an example. This one is pointing um, before the signature. So we can see that this card is in the upright position. This one is pointing after the signature, and you can see that it's in the inverted position. So, so there you go. Now, the cards themselves are great. I mean, I love the coloring of the cards. They've got kind of a, a grayish, um, a brownish gray overtone, almost a misty, kind of a London fog kind of a feel to the overall. It's like someone painted the cards and then went back and did a treatment on them to make them look kind of... So I'm not, I don't know if that's how Pamela Coleman Smith uh, created the art. I haven't seen her original art for this, obviously. Um, I'm sure some people have. But um, but that's what's great about these cards. It kind of gives them a built-in patina. It's not real. You know, it's fake, but it still makes them nice and mystical. And so uh, that's what's interesting about these cards. Now, the uh, at first I was disappointed that I had ordered two um, sets of the same cards, but then um, I understood that it was a good thing. And I'll show you why that is. Okay, so now this is the commemorative set of the Pamela Coleman Smith uh, artist of the Rider Waite Tarot deck, uh, featuring the Smith Waite Tarot Centennial Edition deck, which is this. So uh, it comes in this amazing, amazing container. I mean, I can't even really call it a box. It's, it's like a beautiful showcasing a lifetime of artwork by Cam Pamela Coleman Smith. And um, so it's really cool. And wait till you see how it works. So you open this treasure chest up, and you've got this beautiful 
uh, finish here and you got wonderful little tabs where you can pull back the uh, the covers and see what's inside and what is inside is a, a pack of the cards uh, and in truth what's happened is um, these were the cards that were wrapped up inside this box and uh, these cards uh, came in that box but um, I got this first and so I wanted to use the cards so I opened it up and oh look at that and I don't like that this has to be tucked down in there so there's a couple things that aren't perfect but uh, so I took the cards out of here opened it up started using them and then the other cards came and I realized oh well I can make this a complete set if I put these in here what's in here of course you have the cards and uh, then you have a nice little bag uh, to keep them in if, uh, if that's how you're going to keep your cards and so many people do but uh, I've just chosen to try to leave these cards in kind of a pristine condition and then on this side is where all the treasure happens. The first thing you have is this booklet, The Artwork and Times of Pamela Coleman Smith, Artist of the Tarot, Tarot of the Rider Waite Tarot Deck by Stuart R. Kaplan and Lynn uh, Arjo, I suppose. So this is who wrote this book. In this book, it tells you all about, uh, you know, not all about, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a very good information about Pamela Coleman Smith. It's a lot of her art that's not related to tarot and explanations of how that art came to be. I mean, this is just a fascinating book, and I love it. I love it a lot. So there's that. The next thing that was in here, are, these are actually postcards, okay? So these are postcards, and all of these are the art of Pamela Coleman Smith. So, uh, and then this book talks about these postcards and why they come to be, and they all have a very interesting uh, story. So, which I won't go into now, but if you think you'd like to know, you should order these cards. So, very interesting uh, stuff here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next thing you're going to get is you get some uh, larger pieces that uh, this is Pamela Coleman Smith, who I understand like to be called Pixie uh, as a nickname, and she's a lovely person. This um, is uh, someone that she knew, a, a stage uh, actress at the time, and um, and there's even a little uh, message down here. The the name of this person is Mistress Page, and then you are a you are Mary, so am I, haha, uh, Ellen Terry. So uh, I'm not sure now, but the, the book explains all of this to you. Then you get, uh, this is an example of just some black and white work she done for, for, I don't know what it doesn't tell you on here, but it does tell you in the book. And then this is some more examples of what she might have done for playbills or uh, other ways. You know, artists have to make a living, so they use their talent of making art to uh, sell and, and do other things. So love, love, love everything that came with this. And um, amazing. Now, the final thing, and I've, I've lost a little uh, ribbon, but also this uh, has a ribbon here that, that helps you pull everything out, which is so smart and so good. I don't know who thought of it first, but it's a great uh, use of that. And then you have here the actual uh, pictorial key to the tarot. So some of you may have seen me using uh, this book, which is the pictorial key to the tarot by weight. And uh, so this is just another uh, representation of that, but just in a different book. And it all comes in here. The one thing that you're missing here, I don't think the cards are in this book. No, the pictures of the cards uh, aren't in here, but it's terrific. Everything else is true to that first book. Uh, this one, however, which I bought separate from an uh, online bookstore, uh, does have uh, depictions of the cards in it, as you can see. So that's very useful. I use that all the time. So very handy to have. And then finally, like so many of these uh, decks, this gives you some uh, examples of some spreads you can use and how you might read them. And so everything, everything, everything about this um, this package uh, is exactly um, the best that you'd want to get in a in a in a gift. I've got, this is the one little misgiving here. Maybe I'll, I'll work on that later. But um, so nice. So that's been the tour of these cards. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, four card oracle. Let's see what is in store for you. But just before we do that, let's just do a second meditation. That's all it takes. So, what about you right now. Four cards. You want to get your um, questions set in your brain. Um, stop the tape if you want to. Go get something to drink. Or if you just want to take a breath or move around in your seat. Um, I'll put four cards down. 
you pick one, two, three, four. I have four questions, or one question, or two questions, whatever you need. And then with those cards will be yes, no, or maybe cards. Okay? So, pick your cards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to put these up here. And if you chose number one, this is the Magician, and this is a Yes card. So the Magician uh, has everything available to him uh, to get the job done, okay? This is uh, a lot of encouragement, maybe pulling something out of a, a rabbit, uh, like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, you know, kind of a thing. Or it may show the skill that you have uh, with the tools that you have available to you, which it appears here is everything. So yeah, that's a Yes card. That's a nice, very strong Yes card. If you chose number two, Okay, this is the Apprentice. This is the uh, number eight card in the uh, suite of Pentacles. And uh, so this fellow, the Pentacles are value or worth. And uh, these Pentacles, are, he's showing that he's done a great job. He's finishing up. He's got more to hang out. But the Apprentice is really being practiced at making sure you've got your worth set. And this is a yes card. If you chose number three, Ah, so this is a note card, and this is the number 10 of swords, swords being truth, justice, rules, law, and uh, look, it's the end. You know, this is done. This is finished, and uh, but it's time that something else is going to start, but no, this is a note card, and uh, this is the end. Now, if you chose number four, ah, this is a yes card. This is the ace of swords. Swords of truth, justice, rules, law. This is a great big offer of that, and, um, and so, yeah, it doesn't mean that it can't be turbulent, but yeah, this is a strong... Uh, um, Yes card. You feel very confident making that decision. Okay, so we've got your uh, four cards. Now, we'll just work on this one. So we chose number one, the Magician. This is yes, and uh, you'll have, you have what you need to get this done. Hopefully you know that. If you don't know it, know it. <laughs> All right, and um, there's almost nothing you can't do, especially if you got the right tools. And a lot of things you can do if you have the wrong tools, which is uh, what's it's a uh, a dangerous uh, thing. I'm not uh, doing this very well. So let's just go ahead and get uh, five cards. One, two, three, four, okay, and five. So that's for this first divination. Five cards. We look for the challenge. Well, this magician get it done, okay? Magically, almost high priestess. Well, this hardly a challenge at all. The high priestess brings with her uh, all the knowledge and judgment that uh, she needs to get this done. So this is almost uh, a compliment to the magician. Uh, the uh, base of this uh, for you in this decision is the moon secrets being revealed. Okay, so information may come out, may have come out uh, that got this uh, thing on the go to begin with. In the past of this reading, king of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, a king very top, you know, ab absolutely bringing that uh, to this. So there's either all of that or some element of that that definitely is in this decision. And then the sky of this, with this uh, Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles being worth, value, sometimes going to be money, but usually, you know, it's just, you know, really solid uh, situation. So uh, the sky of this being the um, Nine of Pentacles, really having more uh, than you need in some regard to make this decision. If it's not actual money, it could be confidence, it could be knowledge, it could be the wherewithal that you have to get it done. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing for you, if you chose this number one card, this yes card, and about the decision that you're making with this King of Wands, which are action, motion, uh, plans going forward, uh, re really resiliency, and um, so yeah, this is a this is a, a decision that you can be comfortable with definitely. Okay, put these back in the pack, and um, you chose the number two card is your card. We'll lay that out right now. Okay, and so this is a yes card, and this is the apprentice. This is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. This is really getting this thing practiced, getting it done, doing it over and over, having a lot of confidence in uh, the decision or in the uh, coming to of that. So this is yes. Yeah, you should. Uh, if you don't have that confidence, you can. This card is telling, is giving you that authority. But yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. This is going to be. You know how this is going to end up, and uh, it's fine. So this is a yes card. But let's see. What more we can tell with five more cards? Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, put this over here to work on those two. 
still. What is the challenge to this number eight card, this eight of pentacles, this apprentice? And it's going to be the queen of cups. Okay, this is motions. Uh, that's what the cups are. Cups are emotions. This one is surrounded by a water and a deep blue, uh, you know, a beautiful blue sky. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is certainly an emotional situation and it's still covered. You know, that cup is not open. She's offering. This queen is actually offering this with a little bit of reservation. But uh, so, yeah, so this um, practiced situation is, is uh, challenged by the emotion that uh, maybe is going along with it. In the basis of this reading then, uh, with this seven of coins, again, coins being value or worth, sometimes even money, and this uh, is the person who's really doling that that value out uh, amongst uh, those who need it. So there there was some ration, uh, some rationale uh, that, that brought this around. In the uh, past of this, with this seven of uh, cups, which is cups are, again, emotion, compassion, uh, deeply felt things. Uh, so this seven of cups is just showing you illusion and delusion. There's lots of choices uh, or um, and I just think that is it. You know, there are lots of choices uh, to help get this thing done. Um, well, the sky in this is not to say that it won't be difficult. This is the ten of wands. Wands are actions, uh, motions forward. Uh, they can be plans. And uh, this guy, he's, I mean, he's, he's straining. He's struggling. He's got this bundle uh, uh, carrying the most unconventional way, but he's moving it forward. Um, so, you know, don't expect it to be easy. And then the um, likely outcome of this, with this three of, of wands, wands being plans or actions or motions or forward movement, you know, the, this is long-term planning. So, yeah, this is a, a, a good, a steady decision, so not to worry. Okay. And now we'll go on to the next one, which if you chose number three, we'll get that divination done. If you chose number three, then that's the Ten of Swords. Truth, justice, rules, law, all finishing this subject off. This is the end. This is the cycle that stopped. There's not going to be any going forward here. And uh, But something new has to take its place, doesn't it? So uh, we'll get five more cards right here. Yep. And, uh, and finish that one off. So we got one, two, three, four. Yep, and five right there. Okay. Get that energy soaked up. See what these five cards, what is the challenge to this? This is done. Okay. Uh, victory. Okay. So the wands, again, are uh, forward movement, uh, uh, plans, uh, uh, actions, uh, situations. And uh, this is victory. So this is just telling you, yeah, something else is starting. Don't worry about it. And the base of this with the lover is really finding the com perfect companionship uh, or a partnership or a pairing to get this done. It could be a person, it could be a thing, it could be an idea, it could be knowledge. But the past of this is the emperor, okay? So I don't know why. Uh, if we didn't feel this kind of empowerment, we certainly should have, okay? And then the sky of this reading is the four of wands, again, being uh, plans or actions or, or fort movement. And this is, I always say this is a smallish celebration. You see this couple right here? So this is a smallish uh, celebration towards a larger situation uh, to come. So it's a step along the way, uh, this this uh, a stepping stone, actually. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing is, yeah, embattlement. So, yeah, feeling as if uh, your plan is up against a lot of other plans. Okay, but you can get this done. Okay, this guy's is not easy. One shoe's coming off. Uh, one shoe's still laced up pretty well. Uh, or maybe he's just in a stocking on this side over here. But, yeah, so it's not to say this is easy. But, um, yeah, so this this is a no. Um, uh, challenged by what seems victorious. Um, the uh, perfect pairing is where we uh, started out. Um, then uh, we had to decide who was in charge. Uh, up here in the sky was a smallish uh, celebration towards something better, uh, but um, no, it ended up uh, just being uh, embattled. So yeah, no, that was enough. Okay. Put these right back at random in this darn stack and he chose number four that's the ace of wands it's a nice big strong yes card truth justice swords uh, rules and law okay big offering of that uh, you know this is almost uh, celebratory here so five more cards this is going to be one two three four and five Okay, these cards are done. Okay, 
And what is the challenge to this Ace of Swords, this truth, justice, rules? <clears throat> oh, yeah. So actions, plans, uh, actions, I would say. This is kind of argy-bargy, kind of pointless uh, embattlement. Uh, yeah. So the challenge to, um, you know, what's obviously right is some sort of uh, confusing argument to the contrary. And the basis of this, based on this reading, again, with the, the wands, the actions, the plans, this is the uh, four of wands, and I love it when the cards repeat. It kind of reminds me that they're playing the game with us. And uh, small celebrations on the way forward to something else. Okay, this was a yes card. In the past of this, there must have been an end. Okay, um, there must have been something uh, that uh, that was finished for this to come forward so strongly. And then uh, the Queen of Pentacles is just you know really bringing a, a lot of value, a lot of um, decisions that you can count on uh, into this, uh, with the likely outcome being ah interesting. So uh, Cups is uh, compassionate and passion and lots of choices. So it may be that um, yeah even. Other um, compassion avenues, if not, uh, I, I don't see a lot of coins here. So, yeah, I would say a lot of uh, emotional avenues could be opening because of this uh, strong decision to move forward. Okay. Well, hope that was useful to you. That's our four cards for today. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you liked that video, and I hope it was useful to you. And remember, if it doesn't hit home with you, that's fine. Maybe tune in later and, and after you've thought about it for a bit, or you come back to it another day, or maybe it's just not for you. Uh, and that's fine. we got to spend some time together, and that's what counts. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.